Hello everyone. <laughs> this is Taraji. For some of you guys that may not know, Taraji is the Melee Scope by Ping Lao. Um, painted by me and she was rooted by my rooter. And um and no, I don't root my own vinyl in most cases. I do have one baby that I, I started and never finished, but um I don't root vinyl. I'll root my silicone, but I don't root my vinyl. So, um, this is Miss Taraji and she's in the midst of getting dressed and I was caught myself going to wet her little edges, but they, so her edge is still kind of a little wet right now. But, um, I thought I would bring her on for the toddler lovers. I don't show my toddlers as much and I don't have the time that I used to for role play and stuff because I really enjoyed role play and I thought when I got toddlers that I would do a lot more role play. She's actually sitting, I'm getting ready for a new baby and I laid that out. <laughs> she just sat up there anyway. Oh well. Um, but I want to get back into uh, the whole, you know, role play thing with my toddlers and my babies. I just haven't had the time to do it as much. Um, but Taraji, if you guys don't know, she was actually painted in likeness of my real daughter, which is my second daughter. She is um Yeah, so she's <laughs> my second daughter and the little like stork was not that little, but the stork bite in her forehead is something that my daughter has um and right now as an adult it doesn't show up until she cries or she if she gets really mad and flustered her then you can still see that stir bite come in um her face which is crazy um and the only baby so far that has had that stir bite as well as her has been Bryson. He actually had a little bit of that sort bite, um, same place um, as his auntie. So, yeah, so anyway, um, I, I do love toddlers a lot, but they do take up a lot of space. I even created a whole little toddler corner for them. Some of the babies kind of got in their space, but I'm gonna, start moving them out of their space again um but yeah they do take up a lot of space but i like to place them and stage them throughout my house the toddlers and i also another thing i like about toddlers um not that we should really care or let that weigh in on us but one thing i like about them that i noticed too if you take a toddler baby out people don't judge you or feel like something's wrong with you that it's so weird how that works they actually feel like when you have a toddler you just happen to be a doll collector imagine that so if i take a toddler out it's more like oh my god that is so amazing i would love to have one done on my you know daughter or my granddaughter or you know my little niece or oh that is so awesome i would definitely see myself having one blah blah these are some of the reactions i've had when i've taken like uh taraji for a walk or you know out and it's like it's so different than oh my god why or is it because you know you can't have kids or is this or that like it's it's so different with toddlers it's like it's almost like people feel like with the babies we're trying to replace something or fill a void or whatever the case may be but toddlers like no, this got to be just for fun. It's actually a hobby. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know if some of you guys have experienced that or not, but I, I just feel like people uh, definitely have a, a less... Um, judging reaction. Um, I want to put on her pants, but I don't want to get in the camera. I, I was going to get here. I was like, oh, but that's just not going to be a good idea. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to, when I put her pants on, I will uh, take pictures of her for Instagram. And I'll put her on Instagram. 
Um, but yeah, so I just, like I said, I just wanted to pop on and show her. Um, but it's just always been pretty interesting for me when uh, that happens, that they, you know, that it's not as much judgment um, than with the toddlers as otherwise. I did, uh, oh, and I did reserve a few, uh, she got like paintbrush bristle right there on her knee and it's bothering me. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, um, I did reserve the, uh, Blick kit, the Pippa and oh my God, I do not want to have to paint that kit. Um, so I hope I can find someone else to paint that toddler for me. I'm going to. You know what? I'm gonna show something. I don't know if it's gonna work with her or not, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put Christopher Robin up here, and I'm doing this for a reason. Whoa! Can you can you hold him, Dry? <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. So I just want to show you guys something that's crazy about silicone. Turn the light down. Now, when you put silicone with, with reborns, and in some cases it, it doesn't change at all, but in this case, it instantly looks, well, in my opinion, instantly look like, she, like she's holding a real baby. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's all about the medium. The texture, it makes such a big difference. I don't know, it's so weird. Anyway, his color isn't coming through as nicely though, but you guys get what I'm saying. It's pretty cool. I always I always like to, to see, like when you put him up to her, because, the, because silicone is so skin-like, um, however, I could go get a reborn that is even more translucent in the painting and they will they will blend together. Um they will blend together and it won't look um it won't be that difference of a contrast if that makes sense. And it's not that I'm saying that she's flatly painted, but I think she was my first, second time trying to paint German vinyl. And she does have depth, but I feel like she doesn't have the depth that I, I tend to have more so on some of my other, like, um, vinyl. Because, I don't know, I was, I was kind of scared of the uh of the vinyl when I was painting her. So the second melee that I did, I feel like it was better. I tried to keep I tried to keep that baby so bad. <laughs> That's why I don't need to do no customs for nobody because I I be trying to keep the baby. I listen, I offered uh my customer Joey to keep my baby and everything. And she was like nope 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 and and don't get me wrong, <laughs> Joy is amazing and remarkable. He's like in a league all by himself, in my opinion. I think he's 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 very beautiful, and the way that his hair is rooted and everything is just he's unmatched. Okay, so definitely not trying to make any type of sideways statement there. Just saying, I really loved the darker version Mealy that I painted. Um, but you know she had a mommy <laughs> so i am you know i don't i don't have no desire to paint this kid again i will not paint it again actually it was a pain in the butt to paint um so kudos to those that have been popping them out like popcorn i can't uh toddlers i just don't like i've i've tried to you know <laughs> I don't enjoy painting, not these these ones with this crazy vinyl. I don't like it. Um, Lim was beautiful. I loved painting that vinyl. 
that Lim was in. Um, this new vinyl too that these Reborns are being poured in, it's, uh, it's very peachy and orangey and it takes more work than before ever before and it's just I don't know it's becoming a bit more complex than than ever um but you know a lot of artists will not complain and they will do it with a smile on their face and so I think that's a great thing because we all know we still want our our reborns because they keep coming out with all these beautiful kits so um yeah but you know what i do want to say i miss bonnie brown <laughs> i i can love all the other kids and stuff like that but nobody sculpts like bonnie i'm sorry nobody sculpts like bonnie and i mean i can appreciate and i'm not saying that the other sculptors aren't aren't great and fabulous i think they are you know they have their own style and all that great jazz but is something about Bonnie's sculpting and I think it's because she's so passionate about it um but you know <sighs> I don't know I don't know if she's gonna come back I oh, if, if Bonnie ever sculpted and did silicone oh my god I think I'll pass out um I know she's given a couple people pieces um or sculpts in silicone, one of a kinds and stuff like that. But <sighs> I'm telling you, I would, I, I would love to have a, a Bonnie Brown silicone baby. That would, that would be amazing. Um, I even seen when she was painting one, it was, she even paints beautiful. Um, of course, I would love to paint one in AA, but. Anyway, why am I going down this with you, with you guys? Like, this ain't Make a Wish Foundation. Sorry. Let me move on. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little chitter chatter. I will be in touch soon. Bye bye.